Hi guys, a very good evening. Welcome to Olive Boards practice session. Today we are going to do complete reading comprehension. Actually, we have a very new topic today, which we do not take quite often in the classes also. So what I've planned is easy to moderate to tough. We will see all levels of RC today, right? Reading comprehension. So very good evening. Elakya, I was expecting you and you are uh, today punctual to the class. Gargi, Priyanka Sharma, Sukanya. Jaldi se aajok, guys. Very, very quickly come in, join in. Rosie, Suresh. Mm -hmm. Haan. I I thought you would bunk Elakya, but you are here. Yeah, very good that you are here. So what we are going to do is today I am going to solve the RCs with you. You will get limited time to read every para because it's going to be a lot of reading. You know that. So it's not very lengthy, but yeah, like for example, I have taken two sets of easy level RCs, two moderate, two tough like this. So I've divided based on levels, right? So RC reading comprehension, whenever we talk about this particular question type, it's about reading, understanding skills. What I'll give you is time and then we'll discuss the questions together. I'll be reading with all along with all of you. And uh, yeah, you will get to know the difference. Now, if I talk about RC in IBPS clerk or RC in SBIPO, obviously there is a difference because level differs okay so for both pre mains every level you can say from very basic to advanced rc is what we are going to take today we'll see how much time it will take but that is not the problem what our target is to complete the given uh what i whatever passages i have got for the day today now in this rc you will get tone question central idea so with each question i will tell you approach also how to solve central idea how to solve a tone question everything okay so hopefully everybody is ready. We'll start the session. Before I begin, I have to tell you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also download our app. Very, very important. Just give a second. Okay. Uh, Guys, SBIPO Gold Batch 2 starts on 1st, okay? So, do check the details and if you have not yet enrolled and you are targeting SBIPO, do check the details and enroll soon. Uh, you can use my code which is Harshita for maximum more than 40% off in this course. Then we have computer certification course, PDF course for clerk exams, both IBPS and SBI clerk. Again, you can use... Harshita code for PDF course also. Today we have sales going on, offer going on. Check that out. Also for your PDFs, do join this Telegram group and channel which is Harshita Khurana, the grammar girl. Okay, check the channel as well. The channel, you find all the PDFs at one place. Okay. Um, which is best, sort of depends on what you like, like your preference, it depends on SSC or bank. If you are saying, I know a lot of uh, syllabus is same, quite similar. SSC is few added chapters and more focus on quants and uh, English. But both you have to see the, you can say the work life, the job profile, the pay. So everything you have to compare and what suits you best, right? Hmm. Okay. So let's start. We will start with the first question. Guys, remember, we are starting with easy level. Then we'll move, move to moderate and tough. You have to read this. And also, I will be reading with all of you. We will not I give you time to read. So we'll not discuss anything. Or I'll not speak or disturb you in between. So start reading. First RC. First set.
नंबर चार गुड इवनिंग शुभम चलो सेकंड पैरा नेक्स्ट कंटिन्यू रीडिंग Okay, so she has used sugar instead of salt. done so this is a very basic like story level clock level rc easy one first set yeah okay let's do the questions together guys now for the first set here so that is i told you to join early so that you don't miss on reading the paragraph okay so easy to understand language if i talk about easy level rcs is you can say basic they don't use very complicated words direct questions this is one Uh, it's a fictional story, huh? CAD doesn't happen that you put sugar instead of salt and you you get appreciation, huh? Chalo, first one. So what was she doing? She was making salads. This is a direct question. When Gregor comes into the kitchen with Mr. Brown's order, at that moment, at that time, she was making salads. Okay. Next, why was she having a bad day? What was the reason given? Why was she having a bad day? Quickly mark your answer for the second one. Financial problems more than one option? No, she had trouble in her personal life. Okay, so generic is given, but out of all the options, you know how to eliminate. She was having trouble in her personal life. Okay. Who according to the passage? So this definitely comes. This is a direct question which they definitely ask. True or false question. It is time consuming usually, but this is an important question that they always ask. Hmm. which is mentioned that is true now you can't do inference here don't assume only what is mentioned is true so that gregor was ambitious for the cafe this is the only line mentioned you can mark as true okay now this was given that he was very very ambitious for the cafe yes so option 2 not 5 okay debashish priya rozi none of the above you are saying but this is given guys true uh, i can show you here statement ha huh. he came excited when the critic came to the restaurant that line is also given okay he wanted he was ambitious for the restaurant he wanted to show that they must work hard to impress him all those are mentioned okay so they were uh, they wanted to impress him so definitely it will be uh, second okay this you can directly say also okay not none of the above elakya also is marking fifth okay i have to show you that line mm, here see if he likes food here he will write a good report okay 
so here very excited today okay right because there is a new guest so all of that is mentioned okay next one why was she anxious after she prepared food uh now it will not be assumption okay if it will be inference also priya it will not be assuming something on your own we are giving that answer based on the lines given in the passage which is okay huh. based on the lines given in the passage now see this question also you are making a, a mistake silly mistake this is what we do in exams assumption and inference are very different things okay i'll explain it to you let's finish this i'll explain that to you no uh, what are you marking here everybody yeah so she prepared by because she did not follow obviously she put sugar instead of salt she did not follow the usual recipe the food item was not wrong okay but she did not follow the usual recipe brown sugar on the pork chop okay that is what is mentioned okay the recipe wasn't the correct one not the item food was okay pork chop was told to be prepared that was pork chop only but only thing is she did not follow the usual recipe don't get confused between options it is 3 okay what was the role of gregor in the restaurant what was the role navin good morning no good evening tell me what was the role Yes, which option, guys? All of you are marking fifth, but which two are correct here? Multiple, which ones? Uh, he obviously the cafe belonged to him. First thing, Gregor was the owner of the cafe. He also looked after the customers. He also made coffee. Okay, he made coffee. He looked after the customers. Yes, is the manager everything? Yeah. Okay. Huh. So he was the head also. Head means he was the owner of the cafe. More than one option. Correct. Two and four. Next. okay after this answers that you are giving i have to tell you one basic thing which i will tell you after set 1 very important thing you will learn uh vanda state after mr brown gave his opinion about the food what was it after the opinion given he liked the pork chop what was a state exactly after the opinion given she was not curious she was actually very very scared uh, that she might lose her job so curious is wrong pretending to be nervous she was not pretending she was actually nervous but then when she got a positive feedback she took a breath of relief she was like ha huh. she was like finally yeah uh, she was no more anxious finally after she got a good review okay that is what is given acha Priyanka was asking in the in between what is like pork chop pork chop how does it look it's like proper pork you prepare okay non vegetarian item okay next one gloomy you have to mark the synonym of the words given in the paragraph very quickly moving on guys tell me synonym gloomy you know when you have a feeling of seriousness sadness yes gloomy is avyansh has already put an emoticon ha huh? so what will be the synonym somber somber ठीक है इट इज नॉट शाइनी रेस्ट आर पॉजिटिव कॉन्टेक्स्ट सनी शाइनी अप बीट स्लीपी ऑल्सो विल बी रॉन्ग इट इज अडनेस एंड सीरियसनेस स्टेट सो दैट इज राटा टू जैसी स्टोरी एग्जैक्टली दैट इज अ वेरी क्यूट एनिमेशन मूवी दैट राटा टू इवन द शेफ ओके गाइस दिस इज लाइक आई विल हैव टू लर्न टू ड्रॉ अ माउस ओके वॉट ठीक है 
now one thing which i want to clear from this set that i have got to understood where you have you are making silly mistake now i am understanding because in front of me you are doing the questions now i get to know where you guys do silly mistakes in the exam when it comes to rc kahan pe silly mistakes hoti hai mujhe samajh mein aa raha hai dekho here inference versus assumptions inference versus assumption okay inference is something which is mentioned in the paragraph and based on that you give a statement mention uh in the para and based on that you give a statement you draw a conclusion based on the para given uh, gloomy also means dark yes gloomy means dark serious sad theek hai assumption is what you are feeling this is totally based on what you assume it is not based on any given line not not i will write here not based on any given line of the para just what you feel after reading the para not based on any given statement or any given line okay so inference is what you can select but not assumption you can't assume if something is not written you can't assume here you cannot assume like for example i'll go back here uh, you can't assume why vanda was having a bad day was she facing problem something has to be given something has to be specifically given now this one true we said that gregor was ambitious is this are we assuming it no from some lines we can make this out it is true that he was ambitious soon as the food critic came to the restaurant he wanted vanda to prepare and to focus on her work prepared the best so he was ambitious for the cafe okay so assumptions you will always be wrong guys assumptions are what you feel you don't have to you have to base your answer on some some line which is mentioned in the para are you getting it that is the silly mistake that you did so this was set 1 now we are going to set 2 okay one more easy level then we'll go to the next level guys set 2 start reading हाँ ट्रू और फॉल्स में भी इंफ्लुएंस करेक्ट होगा अगर आप इफ यू कैन कंक्लूड फ्रॉम अ गिवन लाइन इट इज करेक्ट ओनली कारगी okay next next para have you read the story guys yamini okay so we'll go very basic story clerk level again easy level rc set 2 let's see how you answer
चलो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन द स्क्रीन लेट्स क्विकली गो थ्रू द क्वेश्चन ना डायरेक्ट इजी लैंग्वेज बट यू नो वे यू मेक्स एली मिस्टेक्स ओके सो आइट इन द फर्स्ट सेट वर्ड गिवेन इज डिजेक्टेड वॉट इज द सिनोनिम नाउ यू सी हियर डिजेक्टेड वर्ड इज मैं Sana is dejected because she has lost her hat. Lost her hat means obviously she's sad. Sad, wrathful is angry. Okay, aggressive, violent, cheerful, happy, cruel, evil. So only one word for sad because dejected is given. He lost, she lost her hat. So despondent is sad. Don't write wrathful. It is angry. Aggressive is violent. Cheerful is happy. Right, despondent for sad. Okay, why did Fiona buy a hat for the wedding? Rohini has just now joined. Very good, Rohini. But ha, huh, you missed one set. Okay, anyways, Fiona bought a hat. Why did she buy a hat for the wedding? She got the dress, but then she bought the hat. Okay, no, uh, no, not to adorn her dress. First will be wrong. For Oh, to avoid the overexposure to the sun, yeah, to the sun. She thinks na wedding will be outside. That my line is mentioned. It will be hot and sunny. The wedding will be outside. So she bought the hat, yeah, to avoid the ex overexposure to the sun. Okay. Directly depicts the situation after Fiona lost her hat. What happened? Exact situation when she lost the hat. What happened? This was her hat. Okay. Uh, correct answer. One, one, one. Everybody saying one here. Yeah. There is only uh, that she becomes sad. There is only one condition. Okay. People were not sad. Their mom did not start crying. She becomes sad. Okay. Next. Which of the following is true? What according to the passage is true? Like I said, this is a very. This is a question definitely going to be asked. Like true or false as per the passage. You will have to go back, confirm, and then mark. Okay, Manoj, you can rest. Take care. You can watch the recorded. We are going to cover moderate and difficult also. After this is moderate level RC. Okay. Now, guys, which of the following is true as per the passage? You have to mark. So, lost a job? No. Made herself a hat for the wedding. Second one. Did she make made herself a hat? So now her insecurity secured her a job. She for two dollars she bought the hat. So she did not make herself the hat. Only third is true. Only three, not both two. She goes to the two dollar shop and buys a hat. Guys, she has bought the two dollar hat. If you remember, again silly mistake. You please confirm your answers in the exam, even for direct questions. Then ma, huh? Only three. ठीक है. Option two, not option three. Option two. Okay. Next, which can replace the blank? Now I'll show you where the blank is. Then you see here we have a blank here. Now she cannot hold on her hat. Dash a wind blows hard. Yeah, she did not buy. She just decorate. She did not make the hat. She just decorated the hat after buying. Okay, so wind blow blows hard. Now. What happened? Suddenly this happened. Okay, out of the blue, suddenly the wind started blowing hard. Okay, out of the blue, suddenly. Which idiom will fit? Out of the blue, suddenly, all of a sudden, suddenly. Exactly, fifth one. Okay, without warning, unexpectedly, suddenly, unexpectedly. Okay, rest all the idioms you know. Once in a blue moon is rarely. Under if somebody is under the weather, like Manoj is under the weather, ill or sick, on the ball. Very good, doing a great job, doing a good job. Go on a wild goose chase when you're not certain what you're doing to do something pointless. To do something 
pointless. Okay, right. Next, why was she hesitant to go to the wedding in the first place? No, doing something great, doing a good job, good uh, a task in a great manner. Okay, she doesn't have a, this was one reason that she did not have a wedding dress. Okay. Um, also, guys, all of you are wrong here. She was out of work. She did not have a job, both. So, there are more than one option, which is more than one option is correct. The answer should be five, more than one. Both of these are correct. Okay. Vikas is reading carefully. Vikas will get plus 10 for this question. All of you will lose minus 100 for this question. See, direct questions till you do silly errors. This is the place where you do errors. Okay. Haan. Pre me asakta shubham. With one, two indirect questions. Pre, I will show you. I will have all the types or levels today. Moderate, tough. I will show you which exam, what will come. Okay. So, ye, agar aap, you will mark in a hurry. You, will mark, you might mark wrong. Both were the reasons. Fifth. Okay. Where did the woman find Fiona's hat? No, Jansi, same meaning. Why will you say word to word? It has to be same. Okay. In the garden, very, very basic question, direct question. Fourth one. Streets, on the streets, some are writing. Guys, how are you reading the paragraph? Here. Wedding was here. Okay. Huh. I live in Gramstead Road. I found it in my garden. 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 Not on the road. Gramstead Road. In my garden means that person's garden. Valerie Austin is a person's name. In a garden she got the hat. Okay. So fourth one. Okay. I exactly now I know in clerk level where you go wrong with RC. Where you lose accuracy. Okay. Uh, what business is she doing? What business is she into? Yeah, sales of clothes, wedding clothes, wedding apparel. Apparel means the clothes, clothing, apparel. Okay. Now, the name of the word occasions. Similar meaning occasions. Correct. Plural ceremonies. Right. This was it. Next one. Day of the wedding. Which of the words can be qualified to describe the day of the wedding? Climate, weather, whatever we are talking about here. Gloomy. Was it sad? No. Rosy? No. It was a sunny day. A sunny day. So only three. A sunny day. Right. Okay, a sunny day, fourth option, correct. Why you saying, why some of you are marking third option by the way? Third matlab, okay, sunny, correct, right. Option number four. Hmm. Okay, now understood, one, two marks also, you can lose line questions like these, you do, do not have to hurry. Also this one, which was interesting, because now I exactly know where you mark silly answers here. You can be very confident while marking on the streets, but very specific two lines. You have to read. You have to go back. So, always in direct questions also confirm your answer and then mark. Okay. Now, coming to the next set. So, now guys, please understand that the next one is obviously tougher than what you have read now. Okay. It is not the same level. You did, did very basic easy levels right now. We are going to the next one, okay, which will be a bit tough than what you have read. Are you ready? Yes or no? Okay. So, what I'll do is I will take the lengthiest one. One RC is 13 questions that I'll take in the end. Okay. But what I will do is first I will take a tough set here. Mm, yeah, start reading. Start reading. Tough set.
Jancy depends on you. How quickly we finish all four five RCs that we have. I think we'll do it early only. Let's see. What is a maxim, guys? What's a maxim? It's like a statement uh, that tells about a rule. A few words that express a particular rule or good behavior or sensible behavior. Okay? It's like a maxim. A maxim is like few words which talk about a rule. Okay? Right. Okay. Next, next para. Yeah, this is a very beautiful para. Manohar, who told you today's class from Okay, how many of you have this board game, by the way? Because I do have this. It's a nice one, actually. Huh. Okay, so let's start with the... I also have this one, huh, this game. Okay, let's start with the questions now. Now, this was a very common board game, like, uh, since the start. Now, so you get a variety at any toy store you get, they, they have a variety of different board, board games. Ji nahi, Shubham, bhoot preet wala nahi hai. Ha, ye zusra board game hai. Okay, so next. Who wants a board game hai, Shubham, which board game are you using? Ha. Which of the following statements is most likely likely to be true about this character? Elizabeth Maggie, most likely to be true about her. Now, this is inference based. From the sentences that you have read, read what can you infer? Like, which is most true for her? You guys will not have this, huh? You don't have smart games. I know majority will have only one board game, which is this. Kuch tobi. And the worst is this one. I don't know what was the purpose of snakes and ladders at all. Like just you go and then the snake, the, the snake kind of huh, bites you and then you come down the ladder nonsense. Okay. Right. One, five, three. Any other two and four also you select. All are giving multiple options. She was a supporter of gender equality. It is directly mentioned, okay, uh, that she stood by confronting gender politics, okay. So, most likely, please understand the question. Huh. Most likely means, which is, you are inferring, probability. This is a probability question, okay, chance question, okay, assumption question, inference question. What you can assume, as, uh, like, infer from the given lines, okay. So, first one is directly given cancel from the option. Okay. She inv invested a lot in real estate back in the day. Firm believer in Mark Twain's maxim. Uh -huh. No. This is exactly opposite what, what she would have done. Okay. Now, she, has a, she was vocal against other gender. Now, she had equal rights. She wanted to say or she would speak about equal rights for women. But not go against the other gender. Okay. You cannot say against the other gender she went. Okay. Huh. So more than one option is correct. Now. 
what is likely to be true it is not necessarily which is already given you can infer likely probability okay so here yeah because i am only giving you the answer you are guys ha huh, you none of you could mark this correctly it is two why i will say i will tell you the exact reason why b will be correct here b is the right answer she was outspoken that line is mentioned she was bold she was outspoken and against the politics of her times okay first sentence i think somewhere second para see she was a rebel against the norms and politics of her times from this line we can make out that she enthusiastically participated in rightful protest okay it is not written that protest happened and she participated but from this line i can make out because she was a rebel she was against the politics of her times so you can infer that she participated in rightful protest okay Well, yeah when we say most likely to be true means which is not directly mentioned but you can infer okay ha huh. you all you all are not bolu today because this was a tricky question i am doing a tough one right now rc i am not i have done basic ones this is a tough one inference most likely when they give this question most likely to be true what can you infer they are directly asking what you can infer from the given statement it is not directly given but you are inferring ye to direct hai so i can cancel option 1 ye direct given hai okay she was not against this is wrong she was not against the other gender okay and this will be opposite of what is mentioned so cancel so only two this we can mention from guys which para second para first line second para first line that she was a rebel against politics she would speak out right hmm. clear getting it everybody debashi shelakya most likely means chance which one is right which can you infer direct inference they are asking okay right next one next one now read carefully take your time i will not start with the answer until and unless you all try what which of the following is the underlining premise for the statement first sentence starts with by land they are not making it any more so what is the premise of this statement why the statement was mentioned what on what ground this like if they ask you premise premise meaning what is the idea what is the basis of writing this line why this line is even mentioned okay why this line is mentioned uh if i will if you will say fourth one like many of you are saying fourth that here okay uh real estate advantage is given of owning a land fourth one is giving the advantage of owning a land okay one of the most sought after assets one of the most important assets again giving advantage of owning a land okay land generates passive income for their owners all three are advantages of owning a land are we talking about advantages of owning a land no when this line all three are just giving advantages buy land they are not making it any more the para starts with this line itself why what is the basis one or three you will have to select between one or three so first one supply demand mismatches there if you talk about land supply is more or demand is more this is a very generic line the amount of resource if we talk about land that is fixed it cannot be changed okay and the demand is increasing and increasing and increasing so land the resource is fixed but the demand is going on increasing okay so final answer will be 3 now guys one more thing the demand for land is ever increasing owing to multiple factors which is the basis of the statement that is why the statement by land okay so this is a better choice if you talk about all the options by land they are not making it any more means it is fixed resource fixed resource it is not increasing okay right so third one so this was a tricky now the whole set is tricky okay 
There are, there are only three questions. One last question from this RC set. Tell me, what is the answer? Which of the following, if true, will strengthen Ma Maggie's decision to confront capital system of property ownership via a board game? She created a board game, which is, I, I think I should have shown you, it is there only at my place, not kept here. Okay, which is about land in that board game. See, there are, this is the board game. I will show you how it is. So there are cards that you get. No, and you get fixed amount of money in this, like this, four sides. Okay, it reminded me, I think I will, I, I can decide and play this together today. So these boxes, these are places name. Okay, and if you want to buy any place, you every player, for example, there are two to three players, they get equal amount of money. One, two, three coins, three coins or three notes or coins, whatever. And you have to invest money. Okay. And if you, if, if, for example, I bought a place here in this board game, I bought this place. Okay. If the other party, I'm, I'm this, if this one or second or third person lands on this, I will charge them rent. It is like that. Owning a land. Okay. So, yeah. Now, uh, via a game, she was strengthening the, to confront, to face the capitalist system of property ownership, right? That is the board game she created. Which board game? Monopoly. Yeah. So the board game was the practical demonstration of the system of land grabbing with all its usual outcomes and consequences, right? So yeah, that is why to confront, to face the system, she, she invented the board game. Okay. Third is correct answer. I think Lucky gave correct. Pooja also. Huh. Rosie, Uma, yes. Okay. Right. So third one. So first is just talking about her publicity publicity stunt. Okay. She her publicity publicity stunt. Nothing regarding why she invented the board game. Okay. Clear everybody. Now feature of the game, but what was its significance? Here we are talking about why this game was important to her because she was confronting the system, facing the system, not about a stunt, not about just one feature of the game. Okay. Not about entertainment. So you can cancel. Okay. Hmm. This is business game. It is called Monopoly. Hmm. One, two, three. Are you understanding now guys this level? Okay. This level, I will say, I know three questions only, but tricky. At least out of three, two questions are tricky. You have to understand because inference related questions are there. You have to infer. Inference samaj mein aata hai, everybody. Don't mix and confuse with assumption. Inference is from the given line, what you can say is true. Not something what is mentioned. What is directly mentioned is not inference. What you can make out from that statement. Also, what you assume, what you feel like will be true is not inference. It is assumption. Okay. Chalo. Now, I am moving to the next set for the day. Please start. This is a tough set. Please start reading. Again, a tough set. Hidden meaning, indirect meaning for which you read between the lines.
face is slab like means like a slab okay a thick flat piece Fa face is like slab flat flat piece bald without the hair blobby the nose is blobby so it is a character sketch of a writer as you can read okay you will come to know it is like a character sketch of a person a writer blobby blobby like uh, blobby nose like this okay Abhishek is saying this is from Shakespeare's book. Okay, read the next para. Okay, very funny guys, this one. On cloud nine means when you're very, very happy. Okay, so basically I'll, I'll exactly explain you the meaning. Huh. Wisp is like small pieces of hair that are together. Wisp. Okay, you read this line. Naturally their faith is shaken. So they are about to buy your book. As a writer he is saying, I have written a book and the customer is there. He's about to buy your book. But we, with the book review, they see your photo. Then when they see your photo, they say, how can this person who's not, who's like a little ugly looking, how can he write a good book? Okay. So their faith is shaken. They are about to buy a book, secure a copy. But then they see the photo of the writer also beside the review of the book. And then their faith is shaken. How can we buy the, this book? Okay. So that is what is given. Now, what is a scalpel? Scalp, see, the book is written in very much depth. Okay. Scalpel is a knife, a small knife that surgeon uses. Usually doctors, surgeons use a small knife. Okay. For surgery. That is a scalpel. A small, small, small knife. Okay. Uh, so when they, when they see the photo of the writer in the book, beside the review of the book, they feel that how can this man, you know, know anything about the subject he has written about. Okay. So all because of a photograph, the writer is saying all because of the photograph on the book, people don't buy the book then. Hmm. Okay. Now, people read the review, they are impressed. Okay. And they say that it the book throbs with a passion, intense passion. It is a very deep book. Okay, and are on the point of digging seven and six pence means they are digging money. They are taking out the money of their money box so that they get a copy of the book. But then their eyes fall on the photograph of the writer. After looking at the writer's photograph, they are like, this man has written the book. How can we even buy? This man looks like a rabbit. Okay, he wears specs. Okay. How can he write such nice book? They, 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 their faith is shaken. Okay. Clear? Which line now? Throbs with passion means, Vartika, throbs with passion means after reading the book review, they are so excited to read the book that they say that the review that is written, the behind the book, the review that is mentioned. Okay. Uh, it shows a lot of passion uh, that is put into while writing. Okay. Uh, 
हाँ स्ट्रॉन्ग इमोशंस आर देयर इन द बुक राइट स्ट्रॉन्ग इमोशंस लाइक वी से थ्रॉप विद पेन ओके सेकंड लास्ट लाइन ओके द नेक्स्ट मोमेंट दे हैव पुट डाउन द हेयर पिन एंड द चाइल्ड इज सेवन एंड सिक्स इन हैंड ओके एंड एंड द ऑथर हिज टेन परसेंट और वॉट एवर इट इज टू द बैड on all because of a photograph put down the hairpin means the one they were using now they decided to buy the book initially but they, then they put it down they decided not to buy the book okay ha uh, put down the hairpin they have decided not to buy the book the same context is given now they decide not to buy the book getting it so see one writer is writing the story okay acha put my hairpin down let's let ha uh, means like now they are doubtful about buying the book they do they will not buy this okay so it is written uh, they were digging the uh, child's money box to buy a copy of the book but now they say no okay all because of a photograph chalo let's see now see little bit i think you have got this is a tricky language if you will if you want to know this language you should read stories like this or read articles from the guardian a little tough language also okay first one cannot be inferred this is a very interesting question which you cannot infer you have to mark take your time guys when then give me your answer cannot be inferred okay ritesh thank you the author does not support the idea you can make out he does not want to include author's photographs along with the work the author believes that editors do not understand how an author's sales should work because they force them to put the photo very good author feels that can be inferred author does not consider his appearance to be worthy this also you can make out author was angry when writers editors tell them to put their photo be in the book behind their review they say he is not agreeing to that third also you can make out okay author detest detest means hate okay he hates being forced to photograph obviously full para is showing he hates photographs okay so the author believes that a man who does not possess an attractive face cannot know anything about women or subjects worth writing upon does he believe that no he has written a very good novel he doesn't believe that a uh, one author who doesn't look attractive cannot write good also he doesn't believe this at all fourth one theek hai hmm the author ko bilkul bhi nahi lagta agar koi person man attractive nahi hai to acha likh nahi sakta aisa usse nahi lagta so cannot be inferred will be four acha how will be the tone described now this is one of the most important question tone means attitude of the writer towards the subject kis bare mein likha hai uske liye kya feelings hai writer ki wo hota hai tone feelings of the writer kya hai subject ki taraf kya feelings hai writer ki kya attitude hai writer ka skeptical sama saying skeptical means doubtful but doubtful kis bare mein hai writer is does it show he is doubtful doubtful about what manpreet you are also saying acha some are saying frustrated also some are saying digressive also dekho i'll show you if you will know the meanings now tomorrow guys tomorrow which is sunday on all about yt channel uh, there is a video going to be released video hoga on tones various tones of rc so all of you will have access please do go through it tomorrow only tomorrow video will be released of tones rc tones tomorrow theek hai देखो टोन क्या है नाउ हियर वी कैन नॉट से नॉन कमिटल नॉन कमिटल टोन इज व्हेन यू डू नॉट एक्सप्रेस स्ट्रॉन्ग ओपिनियन बट हियर राइटर इज एक्सप्रेसिंग अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग ओपिनियन ही डज नॉट लाइक फोटोग्राफ्स ऑन द बुक दैट ही राइट्स ओके बिहाइंड बिसाइड द रिव्यू डू नॉट एक्सप्रेस स्ट्रॉन्ग ओपिनियन 
नॉन कमिटल वन हु डज नॉट एक्सप्रेस स्ट्रॉन्ग ओपिनियन सो कैंसिल नेगेटिव है क्रिटिकल है टूवर्ड्स ब्लेमिंग समबडी नॉट फुल नॉट फुली ही इज गिविंग हिज ओपिनियन दैट ही डज नॉट लाइक फोटोग्राफ बट नॉट डायरेक्टली और ब्लेमिंग फुली डाउटफुल रिगार्डिंग एनीथिंग रिगार्डिंग पीपल ही इज डाउटफुल डजंट डिस्ट्रस्टफुल डजंट ट्रस्ट पीपल नॉट शोइंग दैट अच्छा डाइग्रेसिव टोन मींस from the main topic the writer is deviating no he is not deviating full paragraph is talking about the same thing only okay he is not deviating going in different direction no he is not going in different direction so what will remain frustrated he is frustrated why is he frustrated he is showing his emotion guys he is showing his own emotion that you know that see uh, critical is from a neutral standpoint critical is very negative now this para is not very negative okay basically he's showing his irritation his frustration that why like you have to put photographs behind like beside the book review i have written a book i have done a good work why do i have to put my photo also he doesn't like being photographed as a writer he doesn't like being photographed okay ha so bhadka hua hai thoda sa author he doesn't like to be photographed he doesn't like his photograph to be put in his book so he is frustrated his own personal irritation he is showing so frustrated are you getting it right rest in this question you have to cancel and for cancellation you should know all the meanings also so guys do watch the tone videos tomorrow on our all about why it will be released okay clear everyone hmm at the next one it can be inferred from the passage that the author begins with describing his own personal appearance why did he start with his describing his own personal appearance what was the reason what can you infer from the options why did he start to, in a very very funny way he was describing himself blobby nose bald no hair okay ye aise kyu start kiya para okay yes so uh sama saying option 5 4 2 majority saying 5 no he is not proving to anybody that to the readers he is directly saying to the readers no very good only one priya priya your answer is very right to introduce a topic of the passage in a personal yet interesting way okay so when he is writing okay to personalize the topic no he is not personalizing the topic his primary purpose begins with the passage by describing his uh, appearance okay he does not want to make about everything about himself so cancel this okay now uh, to express dissatisfaction is he saying he is he is he crying that he looks bad no he is not worried about that he is just worried about why the photo is to be put in the novel in the book okay right he is not proving to the readers anything he is just not showing his irritation that he is not happy about uh, putting his photo in the review of the book beside the review okay he doesn't want reader to know about his appearance so this is definitely cancel okay so yeah it is yeah very 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 ha uh, priya has answered correctly priya priya gar very good priya gar deserves a star today now for this at least i should give a star to priya gar okay priya you get a star today okay so he starts with describing his appearance to just introduce the topic in a manner which is interesting little personal his appearance but interesting okay right clear you have to cancel out guys this can be a tricky question yeah I think this was a very interesting. It was it was funny also, little funny also this para. Why funny? I will tell you because you know when uh, when we are describing when the writer is talking, showing the irritation, it is funny that as soon as they read my review, they are so happy about the book, they are about to buy the book, but then suddenly they see my photo behind the book review and then the money goes inside their purse. Okay, so that was that part was funny. 
धीरेन्द्र वॉट हेपन टू यू ओके क्लियर एवरी वन सो वन टू थ्री थ्री क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस दिस इज ऑल्सो लिटिल टफ टू अंडरस्टैंड लेवल यू कैन कंसिडर एज डिफिकल्ट ओनली बट दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू रीड ओके नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू द सेट फोर और फाइव नेक्स्ट सेट नेक्स्ट वन he mentions but he doesn't boast about or he doesn't want to show to readers that i am worth writing or you know worth reading like he doesn't boast or want he doesn't want to prove to the readers he know that he is good with read, uh, writing theek okay. hai no i'll never judge the book by the i do do read the reviews obviously of the book if the story i like i then buy summary i read and then i buy the book priyanka not uh, with the face not looking at the writer's face What happened, Dhirendra? What do you hate? Why is Dhirendra angry today? Yeah, Chetan, you can ask me a doubt. Mm, yeah, obviously, Chetan. Uh, when you talk about mocks, whatever exam mock you are giving, it will be same level. Okay, uh, same pattern, definitely. Obviously, similar pattern. Okay. Acha, Milenia Rohini is asking that. Ha, huh. Milenia, period of thousand years. Tall population. Which line have you read this? हाँ आदिया पर आपके जैसे बहुत सारे बच्चे मिस तो कर रहे हैं पर आते नहीं है They don't come for it. See if minimum two hundred people start watching English editorial from me, two hundred live, then I will start it again. हाँ ओके अच्छा लास्ट सेकंड लाइन मोर न्यूट्रिशियस सेफर फूड कंट्रीब्यूटेड टू अ टॉलर पॉपुलेशन दैट लिव्ड लॉन्गर टॉलर मींस अ हाइट हियर इट इज सेम मीनिंग द हाइट हां नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट पैरा
Okay, let's now discuss the questions. Okay, for set. Okay, first one. Inferred again, I have told you so many times what is inference. It can be inferred that all are true except there is one which cannot be inferred. Which is that? Which you cannot, which cannot be uh, concluded from a direct line or statement given. You, you are saying no, all of the following statements are true. Okay, except one, which is that one. Uh, processed food removes diseases in various countries. Is it given? From which line can we make out third one? Canned, uh, yeah, it was given in US. There was US example. Where was it given? Canned food. See here. Okay, I will have to highlight this for you. Some are saying three is wrong, guys. You can infer from this line. Canned and frozen fruits and vegetables in winter eliminated the scurvy was a disease that had plagued US. Actually, it helped. Okay, canned food helped US. That can be inferred. Example is given also. Third one is wrong. So, what cannot be inferred, you have to mark here. What cannot be inferred? So, nothing in the passage is given about going back to raw food. Okay, nothing. Okay, that people support to go back to raw food completely. Nothing in the passage is mentioned. So, you cannot infer four. Okay, even fifth can you can make out. That is given also direct. Huh. Fourth, you can. Nothing about going back to raw food. Avoid all packaged food, processed food. Nothing about that is given. Okay. So, fourth. Next. Who asks for the passage? Their favorite question in every paragraph will be what is true. This you will definitely get. You don't get, uh, celibacy is when you do not marry. You are like, uh, you are like a monk who is like a brahmachari, not getting married, not, you have made a religious promise and you don't get into relationship. Yes. Okay. Uh, brahmachari, like we say. Okay. First, of, why two options? This was, I think, pretty direct. Uh, wrong, we choose the wrong food item regarding choice, nothing mentioned. Okay. Right now, I showed you the US example. Scurvy disease was eliminated. Okay. Processed food has got health problems also. That is also there given. One and three both. One and three. This was a very direct one, guys. Why making errors here? Second, nahi hai. choices ki baat nahi hai that we do choose the wrong food. That is not given. Clearly not given. That we choose the wrong food. Okay. One phrase is given in paragraph one. Humans continue to improve unpromising raw material. Why it is mentioned? What does it suggest? Did humans continue to improve the raw material? What does it suggest? How can you improve longevity of substances? Longevity of people you can say. But Rohini, longevity of substances. That substances will live long. Puja, Arvind, Rohini, Gayatri, what happened? Ajay. How can it be five? Read this carefully. Will you upgrade longevity of substances? That substances are used for long. No. Okay. What they wanted to do is new flavor, nutrition, increase nutrition. Yeah, fourth is correct. Okay, fourth one, yes. No, not experiment. They just did not want to do experiment. They wanted to 
increase nutrition and they wanted more flavors that is given okay that line was given no guys dull soya bean soaking crushing fermenting okay under methods that gave a nutritious meal okay so to change the flavors that is what that was mentioned okay do not want to rely on nature do not is wrong here okay they were relying on nature all the raw products from nature they were taking and cooking do not is wrong here first cancel manpreet next author describes and our choices have never been wider than they are at present we have so many choices today that we never had that kind of choices earlier what does it mean why this is mentioned why this line is mentioned yeah hype because the human demands are so much and to satisfy that ha huh, correct correct to satisfy that uh, you know that there are more and more choices given okay no argument regarding what are these words given guys you can cancel from the words also okay so what ilakya you are asking denigrate the de depreciating quality utility of humans denigrate means criticize unfairly so cancel cancel from this word only you can cancel there is no criti criticize criticism unfair criticism so denigrate is cancel same thing no where this context come convolute okay convolute uh, what does it mean Convul converted convolute convolute the readers means uh, any story or any kind of statement or any kind of argument which is very very difficult or complicated complicated so complicate the readers no nothing like that okay ha huh. so appreciate the efforts of our ancestors boosts encourage the idea of appreciating the increased variety he is not encouraging the idea that variety is so much he is talking about how humans needs have increased so much and definitely we are giving out they are provided with so many options at present which was not the earlier case which was never the case in the past okay favorite question in your difficult level rc or even moderate they do give this question tone okay again i am repeating tomorrow sunday but my tone lecture rc tones will be released one full video do watch it on all about youtube okay tell me tone of the para now uh, denigrate is be little unfairly criticize someone correct avyansh tone kaisa hai let's let's cancel out it will be better if we know the meanings and we cancel what is commiserating means when you show sympathy towards something towards the subject is it showing sympathy no somebody has suffered anything and you show sympathy no okay when you show superior attitude i have told so many to times told you superior attitude is con condescending cancel okay technical is regarding one you know it has many many technical tone will have many many words of from a particular field okay like jargons they will use okay complicated technical words from a particular field which is not the case here okay it is not you can easily understand is about food nature how we try to evolve or change taste so it is not technical jargon words okay now incendiary or populist populist tone is something which is general topic which the whole regarding the whole population a very very general topic something which any common man or person can relate to regarding common people subject for common people is populist okay now incendiary is like politicians use like revolutionary use okay so which is meant to incite from the word incite people in a positive or negative way incite people take out a reaction from them in a positive 
or negative way. So incendiary, no. Usually speech by uh, revolutionaries, politicians is, is incendiary. Is the writer showing superior attitude? No. It is showing sympathy? No. Is it using jargons, technical tone? No. The writer has written about a topic which every person can relate to regarding like common people can relate to. Populist is the tone. Okay. Uksana hota hai. Correct. Incendiary is Uksana. Shubham is right. Okay. So populist tone is common general topic hai for common people. Every common man can relate to the topic regarding food, how there were changes to raw materials to increase flavor. Right. Populist tone. Processed food. Okay, everything given. Central idea. Now, another important question in your difficult level RCs will be this. Central idea of the passage means, first understand what is central idea. Central idea is not summary. Central idea is overall sense. Gist of the para. In one line, what you can say is the gist of the para. Okay. Haan, Manohar word meaning nahi pata tha. To kal jo video release hoga Manohar, you have to watch that. On Hollywood YouTube, there is a video. Tomorrow it will be released regarding RC tones. You have to watch that. Then you will know all the tone words meaning. Okay, Manohar. Do watch it tomorrow. Central idea. See, only one part of the para cannot be central idea. For example, this one. This is just one part. Pro analysis of evolution that took part in place. That took place in food. This is just one part of the para. But it cannot be overall idea. Okay. Second one. There is no obvious difference that they have described regarding role of food with our ancestors and role of food in current. They are not focusing on difference particularly, specifically. Okay, so cancel. Okay. Uh, so, Prince, you have not got the correct, you can say, guidance. If English is not going to be able to ping, I will tell you where to start, where you will find interest in the language. So, ping me on Telegram, Prince, if you can. I can really help you. Harshita Kurana, the grammar girl. This is my Telegram group channel name. Directly you message me, I'll help you where to start. Okay. Satish, good evening. Achha guys, how else to cancel? Show the impacts, okay, of processed food in our day-to-day -day life and how it is negatively affecting. But the para was both in positive and negative. Both points were reflected. It was not only negative, okay. So this is not totally correct. Third one, okay. Only negative is not talking or spoken about. Both positive and negative were given, okay. Uh, whether food is good or bad, okay. That is not, paragraph is not about processed food. It is good or bad. That debate is not there. So cancel. Deco guys, when you get stuck in tricky question, in indirect question, elimination is best. Okay. So fifth one. Instantiate the role of our ancestors with the origin of improvised food and impacts of processed food. Everything included in this line. It was talking about improvised food. What is the impact that is happening of packaged food, processed food? Okay. Also, it starts by saying the need of our ancestors. Why did they want, why did they want it to improvise food at all? That also is covered. So fifth covers all small, small para points in one line. Are you getting it? All small, small para points in one line is covered in the fifth one. Achha, instantiate means as an example. Give something as an example, as an instance. You know the word instance. So when we say instantiate means give an example. Okay. Hindu. Editorial classes because the crowd was less. Uh, so we are having only one instead of two editorials. But I will make a plan. I'll do something about it. Do not worry. Just be there in my telegram group. Because any update you will get to know there only. Okay. Fourth one is wrong because we are not debating about how processed food is good or bad. Full focus on the fourth one is Kargi on processed foods pros and cons. But it was the full passage was not only about packaged food or processed foods. Okay, it was not just specific about processed food, like fourth one is given. It has to include all, everything, overall meaning, just whatever the writer wants to say in one line. So it is like central idea, main idea. Okay. 
अच्छा वाई ब्रेकिंग दर्ट ऑफ एडिटोरियल फॉलोअर्स हाउ मेनी आर द फॉलोअर्स इ लक आई डू नॉट गेट इवन हंड्रेड लाइव पीपल देर ओके चलो गाइस आई यू ऑल रेडी यू डू यू हैव द एनर्जी वी हैव वन लास्ट सेट रिमेनिंग यस और नो आर वी रेडी वन लास्ट सेट लाइक आई टोल्ड यू आई टेक दिस इन द एंड बट इट इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वन इट इज डिवाइडेड इनटू पैरास आल्सो यस ओके सो लेट्स रीड वन लास्ट सेट डिवाइडेड इनटू पैरास एंड द लेंथीएस्ट वन टुडे स्टार्ट प्रियंका बिकॉज शी ज्वाइन अर्ली टुडे एलक्या विल गेट अ स्टार्ट टुडे हां Elakya had to come. No, RC is what attracts Elakya. this is a drug name okay the experimental drug this one ठीक है नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट पैरा टू Yeah, Gargi, I'm letting you concentrate on the passage here right now. that is okay overall you understand drug names technical words it's okay third para third
These are all drug, drug names. Huh? Okay. Next, para 4. Next, para 5. question what is the structure of para 5 just now you read para 5 what is describing the structure of para 5 that's all for this rc i lucky i never seen an rc like this right guys we are talking about a different idea you see here Instead of talking about this one, that protein, first they all paras were talking about amyloid, this protein. Now they are saying the focus is moving back to the other protein, right? Now you see what is it about? Nowhere it is said that this hypothesis is flawed. So this para first is definitely wrong. And give up on the hypothesis, quit, quit is not mentioned. Research should continue. They have said that. So, 2 is also wrong. It definitely talks about a different course of than other paras and exploring other hypotheses and saying that failure is not final. We can still try other uh, approach or researches. Okay. So only because the trial is done, we know that we can go further. But how much further we have to find. Okay. 
so we do not know right now but it doesn't say that you know we should end everything right uh, so hope there is some hope failure is not final so fourth one okay now which is giving the same meaning as day as d now and which is grammatically correct you have to mark that so same meaning as d first one okay i'll show you which is the same meaning as d so this one line which is highlighted you can see first read this line all of you it never produced an outright cure and lack of acetylcholine has since abandoned as a root cause of alzheimers read this line first understand this line thoroughly there were a lot of drugs that came out after research but it never produced a cure there was no cure that came out okay also since then this was not considered as the main cause of alzheimer disease okay now which line you can say will convey the same meaning as d the hypothesis never produced a cure not this so cancel market is not discussed okay lack of supply in the market wrong this cause and effect they have interchanged in c so cancel okay so research based on this hypothesis never produce a cure research based okay so that is why it is not considered as a root cause of alzheimers exact grammar based correctly given in 4 not 3 priyanka is right third one is wrong because it is interchanging the cause and effect because cure was not there that is why it was abandoned as the root cause so cause and effect you cannot interchange it has to be same okay if sentence e is correct as per the passage mark b as your answer okay otherwise choose the appropriate answer okay so now go back to sentence e read this carefully the discovery of these genes did not help enzymes research at all it was written that genetic evidence is strongly supported okay so it was written that genetic evidence was discovered supported adopted okay so you cannot say that it did not help so this meaning wise this line is wrong did not help okay this is wrong okay it did not help it showed a road map is given as a cure okay now let's see it did not help is wrong हाँ प्रिंस मैंने देख लिया मैसेज आई विल रिप्लाई बैक आफ्टर द क्लास ओके आई टॉक टू यू आराम से आई टॉक टू यू प्रिंस ओके तो गाइस ऑब्वियसली मीनिंग वाइज बी द लाइन इज रॉन्ग इट सेज इफ इट इज करेक्ट देन यू मार्क बी सो आई एम डेफिनेटली नॉट मार्किंग बी नो ओके नाउ व्हिच इज करेक्ट हियर इज द डिस्कवरी ऑफ दीज जीन्स क्रिएटेड अ सेंस ऑफ ऑप्टिमिज्म एक्चुअली इट वॉज यूजफुल इट वॉज सपोर्टेड it gave a route it gave a further direction so only two will be correct okay it was not curing it was not helpful in curing okay and this was setback it was not a setback negative is wrong only two it was like gave a particular direction okay yeah now which can replace this soldiered on soldiered on is given in c i'll move to c again See the first line. Soldiered on. This phrase is given. What does it mean? Despite setbacks, one where scientists soldiered on. They continued, continued, continued. There were setbacks, but they still continued. So when there were setbacks and they still continued, meaning what? 
they carried on plowed on means they carried on they carried on their hypothesis their research their work they do not just keep thinking carry away means will be wrong carry back discipline is not fighting is not given fighting the authorities they carried on they they carried on despite setbacks they tried and tried and tried theek hai four plowed on okay now the next question is does unveil convey a meaning similar to pull the plug on which is given in sentence a if so mark yes if otherwise choose the option which has the same meaning like this one pull the plug on where was it given guys pull the plug on i will go back for you to the para so see the first line pull the plug on what does it mean from the line you can infer the meaning yeah pull the plug on on a closely watched drug trial okay now huh, because they were not seeing any benefits they kind of stopped it stopped the trial okay huh. so they put an end to it very good put an end discontinued very good am yeah discontinued put an end to it theek hai fifth one okay now elevated is given in sentence f what is what does it mean let's go to sentence f elevated levels elevated is increased uh, increase levels okay so this will be your fifth one levels were increased not uplifted uplift the spirit when you make something happy but increased levels we are talking about the drugs here okay elevated means higher than higher area than the normal amount increase level increase higher amount okay meaning of the sentence should be kept in mind there may or may not be an error in sentence f this was your sentence f tell me if there is an error so the a4 trial coordinated out of the university of southern california is testing a previously unsuccessful drug in patients with elevated amyloids levels but no outward cognitive symptoms yet no error this is perfectly fine sentence guys there is no error no fourth is also right that there are no symptoms yet there are no symptoms yet okay next cuts to the funding of trials would aggravate the situation will this fit the line b here b there is a blank here read this para before line after line will give you the meaning preceding succeeding so basically preceding expresses that one of the adherents of the hypothesis okay says it may be ineffective nothing worse than a flesh wound means it was ineffective okay ha it is like a para completion so what will come here
नथिंग रिगार्डिंग फंडिंग मेंशन प्रीवियस लाइन देर इज नो रिसर्च नो एज गुड एज डेड इट वॉज इन इफेक्टिव इट इज नॉट डेड द रिसर्च स्टिल कंटिन्यूज ओनली दिस विल कम ओनली दिस ओके फंडिंग रिलेटेड नथिंग इज डेड सो ओनली थ्री only three funding related no not no line is mentioned theek okay. hai now give me same meaning as g sentence g so we'll go back that is why there are so many you can say highlighted sentences in the full para in the brains of alzheimer's patients tau gets twisted into tangles that block the internal transport system of neurons same meaning we have to give us g it is like paraphrase you write the same line using different words similar just paraphrasing different words but same meaning is one not all okay it's only the first one which is giving a same context tangling action is missing in b okay ha huh. uh, where it gets twisted into tangles that part is incorrect in c blocking part is missing in d some of the other thing is missing in all the others except for one all other some of the other part is missing okay sentence is in bold in para 1 mark the part containing the error so this was in bold what is the error yeah priyanka very good hypothesis is plural you change the verb according to the subject have this es spelling means plural hypothesis is given it's not singular plural exactly have now guys giving you two three questions from the same para because i know this para you will have to go through again i'll give you two three as homework in the pdf also what i want you to do is go through this again and this was your full set that you have done today from very basic to very advanced level now you can't get tougher than what we did in the last set this was the like toughest okay easiest also i have shown you where you are making silly mistakes i told you i have told you tone will be released tomorrow okay so guys this one is my telegram group and channel please do follow and join on insta handle also i'll be putting a con content some content uh, that i have today and tomorrow to check it out arshita dot the grammar girl there's a sale on olive board which is going on check that as well if you want to buy anything good time extra validity you are getting discount for sbi po gold batch 2 pdf course computer certification super elite is the best plan on olive board go for this using code arshita you get maximum discount on my code and this was a very good try by everybody like all the rc sets that we did together we read and did not i did not check i liked your homeworks sir sukanya but i did not call out the names yet okay so do not worry i will reply back also not just like i will reply back on your homeworks as well don't worry okay so guys hope you liked it it was different it was a lot of reading also a good reading practice uh, so don't neglect rc 
if you will get into the habit of reading you will very very score very very well because this is highest weightage question in your exams okay so yeah we'll see you, i'll see you again on monday with the practice session but for rc i'll share the pdf do this okay completely just revise this go through it again and also see where you went wrong thank you guys do comment and like the session